everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's triple white Mustang convertible, right? And you say all those things like triple white Mustang convertible. Is that a popular car? Well, sure, it's a popular car. However, they didn't build a lot of these. And so people say, well, what do you mean they didn't build a lot of those? Well, the truth of the matter is they built 500,000 Mustangs that year, but very few of them were convertibles or fastbacks. And that's why these are so popular as far as pricing and uh, desirability. We're gonna take a few minutes and look at the great color combination that we see here uh, with, the white, uh, with the white paint, the red stripes, the red lines, uh, the two-tone white and red interior. And uh, I think we should just get started and let's figure out how soon we can get this in your garage. All right, so many times people will say, hey, Tone, that's a great looking car, but we don't really know why it's a great looking car. Let's talk about that for a second. First off, this is a great body of a car. Why did this car take off? Because it's so good looking. 1965, or let's say 64, when these things were actually launched uh, and it came out, it took the world by storm. And this was the first real pony muscle car, right? And then uh, you throw in great things like these great road wheels that are on here, beautifully done, radial tires with the red lines, red stripe on here to match the interior of the car. This has a white top with a white paint. It just looks so good going down the road. And it's just got a great look. Anytime you walk up to this car, it makes you smile because you think about what was the world like in 1965 when this car came out. It was pretty, pretty impressive piece of machinery. All right, so maybe you want to go to a car show. Maybe you just want to show some friends in the garage the car. Uh, this is this is a little bit actually over restored. Why do I say that? Well, this is actually supposed to be black inside because it saved the money. Uh, Chrysler was the only one that painted uh, all of this that color. But when this car was restored, uh, all of this was painted gloss white. Here's an important fact too: the VIN number is stamped on the inner apron of these cars when they're in an accident, and this has to be replaced. You lose the VIN number on the car; everything is still intact in there. That's a really, really good sign. Okay, it's dressed up with the gold valve covers with the black block for '65. Then in '66, it went to the blue, right? And so a lot of people don't know why some colors are painted different than others. It's just a year model change. This does not have a stock uh, air cleaner on it. If you wanted a stock air cleaner and you wanted this to look a little more stock, we can arrange for that. This just happens to have a better breathing unit on it because it makes pretty good power. Uh, this is a light car. It doesn't need a lot of power to get going and it sounds really, really good, especially coming out of the dual exhaust. This is a great look from this car. So imagine being behind here and you're looking here and you're seeing this is so retro 60s kind of dash, but the new Mustang has so many of these same touches in it too because it's timeless. The design of this car is timeless. The interior parts are timeless, but the back end as well. This triple bar tail lamp here, later on they became sequential tail lights, right? You just kind of know. Here's a nice call out instead of putting a gas cap in the side of the car and ruining the lines of this car, they put it right here in the center, labeled it Ford Mustang, so it looks great. It's got great sounding dual exhaust, nice chrome, stainless, polished, stuff like that. And then in here, this is kind of nice too because you get two boots, whether you like a white boot on the car, okay, or whether you would prefer uh, the red boot right there. It's got a spare tire, uh, jack, and those kinds of things. It's got the correct tartan mat that's inside here. It's detailed. Why is that important? It's not important. Or if you wanted to go to a car show or something like that and you wanted to open up underneath the hood and the trunk, it looks really nice in here. You can do that. If you don't care about any of that stuff and maybe you want to take this to the beach for the weekend, you can throw some luggage in the back of here. You could use this as a regular car. How awesome would that be? It would just be great. All right, so this is what it looks like when you walk up to your cool Mustang convertible, right? This is what it looks like from the outside. However, you're not gonna spend a lot of time outside. You're gonna spend most of your time in here and that's where we're headed right now. So come join me in here. I love the sound of that. You know what? That to me, when a door pops open in your hand like that, says somebody put some effort into making sure that that was restored properly. All right, we're here. I wanna talk about this because I want you to see how nice this is. This console's custom. This uh, interior is custom two-tone. The red door panels with the two-tone white and red dash just looks great. Factory gauges, cool three-spoke steering wheel. Like this is an office piece of art. If you get this car, right? If you're watching this video and you don't get this car, you're gonna be mad at yourself, but forget all that part. You could be mad at yourself later. This right here, you should get for a piece of office art. Order a steering wheel and this piece, put it in your office. It would look so good mounted on the wall. People would comment all the time upgraded sound system in here, right? This has a, a digital system in it, kind of there. Uh, this has an equalizer. This doesn't have to stay if you don't want to. Some people like us to go ahead and put 
a full modern like Alpine system and hide it in the glove box, keeping the dash kind of stock looking, but having being able to stream your music, uh, hi-fi sound, uh, satellite radio, all those nice things that you can get in one of those. Anyway, as I sit here in the buckets and I think to myself, you know, if I was going for a drive or maybe I wanted to take the kids or go out to dinner with another couple, right? How great would it be to go there in this car versus driving my SUV that I wheel every single day? Uh, it's just a game changer. It makes me smile just to think about that and enjoy that. And I know that I have the all weather of the convertible top. The windows go up. It seals. If I get stuck into some bad weather, this is a car that you can use all the time. All right, so let's close up the video and run down some of the things that we talked about today. We talked about incredible, incredible styling, right? 1965 Mustang, first year it's out. People talk about having a 64 and a half. There really is no 64 and a half Mustang. All cars started building in August uh, or maybe a little bit earlier in 64, but they were all labeled 65s. This is exactly what we have here. So we have a first year Mustang, collectible already. Triple white, right? White paint, white top, white interior with the red accents inside, super nice. The red trim here, some nice features in there, including V8 and dual exhaust and automatic transmission. Great interior, comfortable. You can go to dinner with another couple in there or take the kids out. Can you imagine like the experience of pulling up to the valet? The valet is gonna put the Mustang out front. They're gonna push the Porsche around the side because everybody loves this car. It makes them smile. Anyway, call us 301. 816-1000 will tell you all about this cool 65 Mustang. We've got to figure a way to get this in your garage. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button down below if you would, please. Subscribe to the channel. I think you'll see us. We have a new content coming out all the time. And share this with your friends. I think they'd like that as well. And lastly, I will see you on the test drive. All right, thanks for joining me, man. We, this could be almost 60 years ago. We're going for a drive right now. I know this sounds crazy, but it's 2022. We're doing this video. This car is approaching 60 years old. This could be 1965 or could be 2022. We are enjoying this same spectacular road in a cool, cool car in an awesome spring day. Just wheeling down the road, beautiful interior. The wheel is just, I can look at the wheels, a piece of art. I always tell people, get one of these wheels for your office put it on your desk or mount it on the wall, it'd be so beautiful. This car is driving great. I'm enjoying the console, the gauges, it goes around the corner, it's not rattly. It makes a nice sound for the V8, right? Can we hear the rumble? Oh yeah, how you doing? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this test drive. Can't wait to see you on the next one. We gotta find a way to get this one in your garage.